Hey guys, so I wanted to bring you on my weight loss journey after my second son, um, but I was trying to figure out how the best way to do that would be. So I'm kind of going to do a couple of vlogs um, with background about how I lost weight with my first son and how my pregnancy was with my first son and then how it's been different with my second pregnancy and then my plan for my weight loss for my second pregnancy. Um, I am right now about 38 weeks pregnant with my second son, so that weight loss journey will be happening soon, hopefully. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get right into it. If you have any questions or um, comments, please post below, and I'll do the best to answer them that I can. Uh, of course, this is just how I did it or what I went through. Everyone's different. Every pregnancy is different, so don't um, please don't compare. It's just ideas of what I did and um, what worked for me. So um, let's start right off. Um, so my pregnancy with my first son went really well. Um, I'm going to post pictures along as I go to kind of show you. Um, I didn't have morning sickness. I didn't really crave anything. I definitely let myself indulge. I had what I wanted or felt like I wanted. Um, but I didn't go like extreme, you know, I just definitely enjoyed food a little bit more. Um, I pretty much stopped working out. Right after I found out I was pregnant, I just didn't really want to as much or didn't really as much in general. I'm not really sure why. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's just the way it was. Um, I I would go for walks and stuff near the end of my pregnancy, like the last... So I got pregnant in with my first son in October. I found it right after Halloween that I was pregnant. Um, so the winter months, I definitely slow down on working out anyway. So I think that was kind of my excuse. And then once the weather gets nicer and got nicer, I was um, walking more. Um, we have I live on a road um, with tons of hills. So wherever you walk, it's always a good workout. Um, so once, once the weather started to get nicer in the spring anyway, I started to get more active and things like that. Um, so my activeness got more near the end of my pregnancy than at the beginning. But anyway, that's just how it worked out for me. Um, I still gained about 45 pounds. Um, in my first pregnancy, I gained a lot more like through my neck and chest and things like that. Of course, this isn't the best angle, so it kind of looks like I have a lot here now too. But um, definitely a lot more like overall gain versus uh, just in my stomach. Uh, but that's just how I carry also. My mom was like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's kind of how my first pregnancy went. Like I said, everything went really well, even delivery. I did have an epidural, um, but I had a natural delivery other than that. He came a day after he was due, um, but I went the full 40 weeks, and yeah, everything went really well. Um... My labor started around 3.30 in the morning is kind of when I knew I was probably going to have him that day, but didn't have him until like 10.45 that night. But I was definitely, we took our time that morning um, getting ready, kind of did a few things, went to the doctors, got checked out, then went out to lunch, then went to the hospital, and then they even sent us home, and then went back to the hospital around 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, they did take us into a room, and that's when we kind of started the the harder labor started then. So yeah, um, yeah, everything went really smoothly. Um, yeah, so that was kind of my pregnancy and labor with my son Lee. Um, after I was pregnant, after I was pregnant, after I gave birth to him, um, I did breastfeed. Uh, my milk took about five days to come in, which was really frustrating because. It was really difficult for me to understand the whole breastfeeding process, especially because I wasn't producing milk, so I was having a hard time. Um, I used a nipple guard for a while, which helped my son latch, which was really nice. Um, I'm going to try not to use one with this, um, with my son this time, because it is more convenient just not to have to carry one everywhere. But if that's what works, then that's what works. And if you're not able to breastfeed, then that's the way it goes too. I kind of switched from breastfeeding to pumping because 
Um, I was having such a hard time for a while and he was hungry. He had, um, he did have a little jaundice when he came home, but it was nothing extreme. They just kind of monitored him, but he needed to gain weight because of that. So we needed to get uh, something into him. So we did, um, do a little bit of formula just to kind of like, but it was like a contraption that like went onto my chest and connected to my nipple a little bit. Like it was kind of weird. It was to try and get him to latch and still get the idea of breastfeeding. Anyway, um, that's how that went. But once we finally got the hang of it, it was great. It was a great experience. Um, we, I did that probably for about three or four months. I just did just breastfeeding and, um, pumping. So he did drink out of a bottle, but it was my milk. Um, and then I switched to every other, um, formula as well as breastfeeding. So I think that helped a lot with me losing weight because I just, in general, it's supposed to help your metabolism and things like that. So that was nice. Um, I did notice that it helped mine. Um, I definitely became more aware of my body after having a baby. I, um, I don't know. I don't know what the right word is, but I, not that I didn't know my body, but I became more aware of my insides. <laughs> um, one of the things that did happen to me um, well, let's back up a little bit. So I, as soon as I had him, I started eating really well again, um, fruits, vegetables, proteins, um, carbs, but the healthier ones. Of course, I was eating those kinds of food before, like I said, but I just it would indulge a little bit more in the, the fats, I guess, in the ice cream because it was summer when I had him. Um, but yeah, so I ate well. I started working out when I could. I pretty much started walking, like like a week or two after. I mean, I wasn't running or anything, but we'd go for walks. Um, it was still nice out. So I just, I needed to get out of the house and I have so much family around. I'd walk to someone's house and just things like that. Um, and then once the weather, uh, once I was cleared to work out, I would start running and jogging and walking like, you know, intervals and things like that. And then once I really felt good, nap time was like, I'd do a workout video or like really get working out. Um, and I saw a huge difference in my body, which was great. Um, one of the problems that I did have was it was October, I don't know, it's the end of October. I got like a 24 hour virus bug thing where I couldn't keep anything down or anything in and, um, it wiped out all the good and bad bacteria in my intestines and it was horrible. <laughs> And I couldn't predict anything that would stay in my stomach. Um, even after I was feeling better, I'd still get a stomach ache if I ate something. And I didn't even know necessarily what. Um, so I definitely lost some extra weight then. I do, however, think that's when my milk production slowed down because I couldn't keep anything in me for nutrients. Um, so it was kind of a catch-22. I think it... It slowed my metabolism down, but at the same time, I wasn't able to eat nearly as many of the things that I could. So that helped me lose weight, but I wouldn't say that was a help by any means. Um, but after I kind of got the handle on that, I, again, like I said, really <laughs> understood the inside of my body. Um, my whole digestion changed. I pretty much can figure out when I'm going to need to go to the bathroom daily. And if I don't, then I'm going to be bloated for the rest of the day. So things like that. Um, it was just, it's weird. Your body changes internally and externally a lot after having a baby. Um, my hips were a little bit wider, which I actually was happy about because I definitely had more of like a straight figure, I thought at least. So that was, that was kind of nice. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much... Um, my first pregnancy and postpartum for after. Um, yeah, so I will now show you, or if you want to follow me, 